So um, we're going to give uh, Stanford, uh, I understand there are more than one speaker, so a total of 15 minutes. <clears throat> uh, yes, uh, Mayor Dreckmeyer, members of the council, thank you for this opportunity. Uh, I'm Larry Horton, the Director of Government and Community Relations at Stanford, uh, and we have a three-part presentation. I will discuss why and how this study was done. Stanford's Director of Planning, Charles Carter, will summarize this stu study's content. And finally, Stanford's Provost, John Etchemendi, will discuss academic development under the 2000 General Use Permit and its relationship to the Stanford Sustainable Development Study. When Santa Clara County approved the general use permit for Stanford in 2000, it included over 100 conditions. One condition requires Stanford to prepare a sustainable development study, or what we will call the SDS. The general use permit authorizes Stanford to apply for a little over 2 million square feet of academic development, and the SDS condition requires that the SDS be approved before Stanford applies for any portion of the second million of the authorized square footage. In describing the study content, the condition refers to a part of the county's general plan known as the Stanford Community Plan. The Community Plan identifies two central objectives for the study. One, to identify the long-term growth potential for Stanford lands, demonstrating how future development would be cited to prevent sprawl into the hillsides, and two, to identify areas of future potential development in the foothills. Stanford was required to prepare the study in cooperation with the county planning staff and to pay for outside expertise chosen by the county. The county retained consulting firm, URS, and URS provided peer review and advice to the county planning office. The SDS reflects hundreds of hours of work by Stanford, the county, and URS. Before drafting began, Stanford planning staff and council met with county planning staff and council to go over every word of the general use permit and community plan language pertaining to the SDS. County and Stanford staff and council addressed the specific question, what is required to comply with the general use permit condition, including the appropriate length for the study's time horizon? After the study's scope was determined, each chapter was drafted by Stanford and presented to the county. County staff provided many revisions, suggestions, and comments. The study benefited from the diligence with which county staff and the county's consultants reviewed the material and the county's changes were incorporated into the final document. Each chapter went through at least two cycles of review and revision. At the same time, Stanford planning staff received the advice and counsel of four of Stanford's most respected faculty members working on environmental and sustainability issues. These faculty also read in detail the general use permit condition and the relevant portions of the community plan and advised on how the study should be conducted. Two of these faculty will speak to you later. Both county planning staff and Stanford faculty advisors independently advised that the study should include material on broader sustainability issues than those identified in the community plan. That advice led to Chapter 5 of the SDS that has received much favorable comment from those who have reviewed the study. The general use permit specifically requires that the study be deemed adequate by the county planning office before it could be submitted to the community resource group, the, planning camp, the county planning commission, and the board of supervisors. On October 31 of last year, the county planning office deemed the SDS adequate. On November 20 last year, the county planning commission also determined that the SDS meets the community plan and the general use permit requirements and unanimously recommended that the board of supervisors approve the SDS. Let me conclude by saying that Stanford and county staff and council took great care 
to ensure that the SDS meets both the spirit and the letter of the general use permit condition. As the county planning director stated in her letter determining the SDS adequate, quote, the SDS should prove to be a valuable tool in informing future development on the academic campus, preventing sprawl into the hillsides, and in resource protection. Thank you very much. Now Charles Carter will describe the content.